One CNC CAD provides a very intuitive, easy to use workflow when creating geometry. Geometry can be created using absolute coordinate input, incremental coordinate input, grid point snapping, or reference off existing geometry just like this example. Powerful geometry creation tools along with an extensive suite of tools for trimming makes geometry creation quick and easy. Now let's take a look at creating fillets. Simply select the fillet command and enter the fillet radius. All you need to do now is select the geometry where you'd like the fillet created. Notice how you can also change the fillet radius at any time providing quick and efficient workflow. Creating chamfers is just as easy. Select the chamfer command and the chamfer amount and select the geometry. Predefined geometry shapes are easily implemented to further expedite geometry creation time. Geometry can quickly be manipulated using the 1CNC Alter command. In this example, you can see that I'm easily changing the location of the circles as well as changing the circle diameter. To move geometry, simply select the geometry then the move command. Notice how we can locate geometry by a theoretical intersection point. Mirroring geometry is just as easy. Select the geometry then define a mirror line. When rotating geometry, you can enter the degree amount or you can quickly rotate by using the digital compass. 1CNC also provides a geometric history browser, providing the ability to move forward and backward through all your geometric commands, providing unprecedented control and flexibility. Now let's add dimensions to our geometry. We'll head over to the command manager, select dimensions, then vertical dimensions. I'm going to left click, left click, and drag the dimension exactly where I want it. Now 1CNC has the powerful ability to supplement the dimensions or alter parameters. This feature can be turned on or off. Let's continue on by creating another vertical dimension. And now how about some horizontal dimensions? Left click, left click, drag the dimension where you want it. Let's put one more in the lower left hand corner. That looks good. How about a radius dimension? Left click, then drag the dimension where you want it. Now for a diametrical dimension. That looks good. Adding a crosshatch is also very easy. Select the geometry, enter your crosshatch parameters, and then click OK. Very, very nice. Now let's take a look at 1CNC's powerful solid modeler. Now before we begin, I'd like to demonstrate how easy it is to set up a custom toolbar. Though this isn't necessary, it's very powerful and easy to set up. All you have to do is right hand mouse click on the commands that you'd like to add to your custom toolbar. As a start point for our solid model, let's quickly import a DXF file. When using third party CAD data, it's always a good idea to look for duplicate or overlapping geometry. Using 1CNC's powerful smart selection tool, you can easily locate, select, and delete the unneeded geometry. To begin creating our solid model, I'm going to use the extrude curves command. An extrusion amount can be entered, or you can dynamically drag the extrusion in any direction. Using the extrude cut command, I can easily create both pockets using the exact same technique. Using the extrude boss command, let's quickly create a boss with a length of 250 thousandths. Let's shell our solid model now. We're going to select the shell command, specify the wall thickness, execute the command, select the side that we want shelled, and let 1CNC perform the operation. Very, very powerful. Now I'm going to continue using the extrude cut command to finish all four of those holes. That looks great. And now let's use the fillet command to add a small 30 second fillet at the bottom of both those pockets. That looks great. Now I'm going to use the exact same command, but I'm going to tell it to make 125 thousandths chamfer at the top of the boss. Very good. Using the exact same command, I'm going to create small 30 thousandths fillets at the top of all three holes. Additional features can easily be created on any side of the solid model by using construction planes. Once the construction plane is created, you begin to create your geometry. Now geometry can be created using coordinate input, but in this example, I'm grid point snapping just to speed things up. I'm going to use the scissors trim command to quickly trim the slot, and why don't we use extrude cut to extrude that 50 thousandths into the solid model. That looks great. Let me give you another example. I'm going to rotate the solid model around, and let's create a construction plane on this face. We'll change our view so that we're normal to the face, and this time what I'm going to do is I'm just going to create a rectangle. That looks very good. Now, using extrude boss, let's extrude that rectangle 250 thousandths. Very good. Now let's create a 30 thousandths fillet at the base of the boss. We'll go into the fillet command. We'll specify our radius value. That looks good. Click OK. Digitize the loop. Right hand mouse click and execute the command. 1CNC also provides the very powerful ability to easily change the attributes of your solid model. In this example, I'm changing the color to a dark gray. I'm also going to take it a step further by changing the color of some of the faces of the solid model. 
This one CNC feature is extremely versatile and oftentimes used to designate different faces of a part that require different surface finishes. Now let's take a look at one CNC surfaces and hybrid modeling. Complex surfaces can easily be created using one CNC's extensive suite of surface tools. Now on this first example, we're using the create surface from four edges command. This is simply where you digitize four edges and then one CNC will create the surface. So here we go, we're digitizing four edges, we'll execute the command, and there's the surface. Let me demonstrate another technique for creating surfaces. This is called surface from cross sections. This is where you digitize edges that represent cross sections. In this example, I'm just digitizing two edges to create the surface. Very nice. Now, I'm going to undo this. I'd like to show you another technique. This is called create surface from curves. This is simply where you digitize a closed boundary, a closed loop to create a surface. You can see how quick that is. In fact, let's use that to create the remaining surfaces. Now, right now we have six individual surfaces, but using one CNC's hybrid modeling, we can easily convert this into a solid model. And there we go. That's a solid now. Because it's a solid, we can add more details to this. In fact, why don't we add fillets to all four edges? Let's add 125,000 fillet. We'll digitize all four edges. Execute the command. Very nice. I'm going to bring up some extra geometry here, and I'm just going to use the extrude curves command to create a couple of cylinders. So we're going to digitize those outside curves and extrude those down one inch. Just like before, we have multiple shapes, but using one CNC's powerful hybrid modeling, we can easily convert this into a solid model. And that's exactly what we've done here. Now that it's a solid, we can add extra detail. Why don't we add some fillets to the inside? Let's create some 60 thousandths fillets along both those inside loops there. Right hand mouse click to execute the command, and there we go. Very nice. Now let's use our extrude cut command just to quickly go in here and extrude those holes. That looks great. And why don't we add some chamfers? So let's add some 50 thousandths chamfers to all sides of those holes there. Notice how the geometry is translucent, so it's easy to pick those edges. Now that we've created the geometry, let's change some of the attributes. One CNC provides an easy way to change multiple attributes at the same time. I'm going to put this part on a brand new layer called bracket and change it to the color gray. And you can see I'm turning that brand new layer on and off. Very, very quick. Now because the holes require a different surface finish, I'm going to quickly assign a different color to those faces. This is a great reminder so that when it comes time to apply toolpath, we're reminded that those colored areas require a different surface finish. Another very good example of 1CNC's ease of use and versatility. Let's take a look now at 1CNC's advanced detailing. 1CNC provides the ability to quickly create highly detailed prints from your solids and surfaces. Begin by choosing a page format, then select your views. How about a top view? Let's drag that right about there. How about a front view? Notice how the views are highly detailed and contain hidden lines. Now let's create an isometric view, and let's place that right about there. That looks very good. Now what I'm going to do next is I'm going to create a cross-section view. So to do that, I'm going to create it from a construction plane. In fact, I'm going to use the default YZ construction plane, and one CNC can easily create a cross-section from that. I'm going to place that right there on the page. Very good. Another thing I want to point out is that the model and the page are associative. So if I add a new detail to the model, for example, let's make a hole. Let's create a chamfer right there. If we go back into our page space, and if I select Update Page, all the views now have updated. This is an extremely powerful feature of one CNC. At this point, you can now add your dimensions. Now, I'm not going to dimension everything here, but I am going to create a couple of vertical dimensions. Let's create another vertical dimension right here. And how about a horizontal dimension? Let's head over here, select horizontal dimension. There we go. We'll drag that right about there. That looks very good. Now, what you can do now is you can easily export this out as a PDF file. That's what I'm doing here. Let's save it as a PDF, fill out the parameters. And now let's take a look at the PDF file. You can see that it's very high quality and highly detailed. 1CNC provides easy to use, intuitive, and powerful CAD. Thank you so much for watching, and we look forward to seeing you in the next video.